Glen Burnie Transmissions is now celebrating its 50th year of providing Maryland residents with the very best in transmission services and repairs. Go to gbt-online.com. GBT is your dealer alternative. Welcome back to Inside Press Box. The Maryland State Athletic Hall of Fame will host its 52nd induction ceremony on November 10th at Michaels 8th Avenue in Glen Burnie. Here to talk about this year's induction class is the chairman of the Maryland State Athletic Hall of Fame, Bernie Walter. Bernie, also director of baseball operations at the University of Maryland. And Bernie, you're also overcoming a uh, rotator cuff surgery. Yeah, I tore it down at NC State, and uh, it's, a long, it's a long, painful uh, rehab. What, did Coach Backage sneak you into a game and you were pitching? No, I think it was Debbie Al when she went down as athletic director. It was really <laughs> the bottom line. <laughs> Hey, um, this is a, an exciting event coming up. Yes. And this year is particularly exciting because the names are really big time names. I mean, Hasim Rahman, Sean Landetta, Jeff Zahn, who I had no idea was from around here, uh, Travis Pastrana. Who are the others? Uh, did I leave anybody yeah, you out? Did. Tara Heiss. Yep. Uh, Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell, how can I uh, leave him out? You, who's the other one you left out? There are seven of them. Yep. And I'm going to leave somebody out here. Tara Heiss and Fred Funk. Fred Funk. Fred Funk, two from the University of Maryland. Yeah, that is some an impressive uh, group. They're all stars. There's no question yeah. about that in their own sports. The, big, the biggest thing about this Hall of Fame is that um, in 1956 is when it was founded, and it was to honor native-born Marylanders who excelled in athletics. It has to be an athlete. You can't be a coach. You can't be a, a reporter. You can't do anything else. You have to be an athlete. So we're pretty excited about it. Although you do have, and I know you can't announce it now, but there is a, going to be a John Stedman Award winner. Yes. That can be somebody from those other fields, not on the field. Right. We've, we've had coaches in the past, scouts, uh, uh, different uh, administrative people for universities and, and professional teams. And we, we'll pick another one this year. We haven't, we haven't, we're we not haven't finalized it. it. Okay, I got you. It. And it's not ready to be announced. So seven people are going in, in addition to this other person, but seven, is that a number that you pick every time, or could it be four or nine? No, we'd like to have a smaller number, to be honest with you. But the reason is, is that uh, we have not been in operation for four years. Right. Uh, Jack, Jack Carbath was the chairman before I was elected chairman, and uh, he was doing so much work, and it got to the point that he was said, I, I've done enough. And then the rest of the committee didn't step up. And, and uh, so I guess about a year ago, I got you stepped up. A bunch of bunch of guys got together. We decided we wanted to do this again because we think it's a good thing to honor our our native-born people. How many people will be there? Will it be four uh, hundred? We, we're right now. We're about two hundred fifty tickets sold. We're still okay, still but you're selling 10 tickets. Ten days away. Yeah, we're still selling tickets. It's open to the general public. Uh, it's open to all ages. Uh, we're we're hoping that that Travis Pastrana's crowd will show up with a whole bunch of people. Um, I'm hoping Sam Cassell's East Baltimore people, especially Dunbar High School people, would yep, show. Yep. Haven't heard from those yet. We've heard from Pastrana, but not from the not from his fans. Fans and can come. And by the way, I made a mistake in saying we're ten days away. We're ten days away from taping. Right. But you're about four days away. So if people want tickets to come to this event, and again, you're honoring Hasim Rahman, Jeff Zahn, Major League Baseball pitcher, Sam Cassell. Sean uh, Landetta. Sean Landetta. Tara Fred Heist. Funk, Tara Heist, and now we're leaving out one Travis more. Pastrana. Travis Pastrana. Right. How do you get tickets? Okay, you, all we're doing is you call a number. The phone number is 410-859-0151. Ask for Barbara. She knows all about it, and she'll take care of it. It's $50 a ticket. and Very reasonable price, yeah. and the food is always good at Michael's yes, 8th Avenue. Give that phone number one more time. 410 859 0151. All right. You've done a great job Thank with you. this, and I know you'll take it to a, a different level now that you're back on track with the Maryland State Athletic Hall of Fame. Tell us a little bit about Maryland baseball. Well, we think we've... Uh, Wasn't a great year last no, year. No, we struggled. We, we lost a lot of close games our, where most of our players were underclassmen, freshmen for the most part. Uh, this year we've come back uh, much more experienced. I think we have a solid starting lineup without question. And uh, we've got a little bit of depth. 
Our pitching is deeper. We have, we have nine or ten guys, depending upon whether one guy comes back for arm surgery. We think he will, which is uh, we, had, we had five last year. So this is double. So we're better that way. Last year, Eric made, tried to make a big bang with playing Texas right off the bat. Are they doing the same thing this year, or is he going back – a little bit quieter this year. No, we're going to UCLA. We're going to start out there. Okay. We're going to play three game series at UCLA, and then we're going to go down to East Carolina and play in a tournament down there with uh, it's Purdue, East Carolina, and uh, I can't remember the third team. All right. But well, we'll, a, we got plenty of time, and we'll okay. get Eric on Good. shortly into the new year, okay? Okay. Bernie, appreciate it. Thank Give you. that phone number one more time. 410-859-0151. For tickets for the uh, – Dinner coming up on the 10th at Michael's 8th Avenue. Press Box and the Sports Boosters have teamed up with the Zolit Lennett Group of Smith Barney Financial Advisors to present Shoes for Grades, awarding free athletic shoes to high school students who improve their grades by a full letter. Go to PressBoxOnline.com now for more information.